Good morning, everyone. Hey guys, ignore the disaster that is behind me, but I just got ready for the gym. I need to drink my pre-workout before I go though. It's almost 6.30 now, so I'm gonna try to leave the house like just before seven. That way I have 30 minutes to let this kick in. But I thought I'd show you guys what my gym fit is. I'm so happy to be getting back to the gym today. Honestly, I wanted to get back to the gym yesterday, but I went to go take pictures yesterday for the boutique, so I couldn't. Um, but it feels really good to get back to it today because I had a bit of an off week last week. Yeah, I'm wearing this Lululemon sports bra that has like a mesh top lining. It's actually not available anymore. My NY hat, because my hair is an absolute disaster. I'm probably just gonna like style my hair like in braids later and have it like this because I have a hair appointment tomorrow. And I'm just trying to like cope with my hair until then because <laughs> if you wear extensions, then you know what I'm talking about. Like they're just grown out. And then I have on my Gymshark leggings and then my Adidas. Okay, it's already seven now. I need to hurry up and go to the gym. I just started working on the thumbnail for this weekend's vlog, which was so much fun. I went shopping with Katie. We went to a bunch of different stores and like checked out fall stuff. I also had a photo shoot. We did brunch. It was just a fun little vlog, a little bit different than my typical like work vlog. Make sure you go check that out. It will obviously be live before this vlog. to the gym and realized that there's no reason for me to even be here because my dumb self forgot my freaking Apple Watch. There's nothing worse than getting to the gym and realizing you don't have your Apple Watch. It's like, did I even come to the gym? Does it even count? I didn't do legs. I initially wanted to do legs when I went in there, but there were so many people by the squat rack machines. Like we have two of them in my gym and then there's a Smith one, but I wanted to do the regular one. And they were all taken and there was a bunch of people around. So I think people were like waiting and I just didn't feel like waiting. I wanted to just work out while I was there and I need to get a lot done today. So I did back and it was a really good back workout. I love working out back. It's like one of my favorite things to work out. I used to like hate anything upper body and now I love doing back. I always incorporate core with it and it's always a really good workout. Back home and Chad's gonna make me blueberry pancakes. We get the Kodiak cake ones. They're like protein packed and they're super good but we're gonna add blueberries to it. It's a little bit later now and I'm heading to the co-working space and I obviously showered and then I just braided my hair again because this is like the easiest way for me to manage it when it's really dirty and gross so yeah i hate when my hair is like this dirty but it's just such a pain to wash and blow dry when my extensions are grown out so it's just easier to let it be dirty and go longer without washing it but yeah i ordered my pumpkin drink on the mobile app but i'm just picking it up through the drive through and it actually worked so i guess they have pumpkin today they didn't have it the last two days so Let's go get some work done. Also, I got a different drink than usual today. I'm obsessed with the cold foam, but I really prefer the flavor of my iced coffee over the cold brew, like with a pump of pumpkin. So I got an iced coffee with one pump of pumpkin, and instead of cream, just got the cold foam on top, the pumpkin cream cold foam. Also, don't mind the fact that I'm wearing sweatpants. I really didn't feel like putting real clothes on today, so I'm wearing all black with sweatpants. I'm in the same meeting room that I was in last time, and I wasn't actually planning on doing a conference room today, but I asked if there was one available, and he said this one was empty, so I just figured I might as well take advantage of the private space, because then I can actually record and talk to you guys while I'm here, and show you what I'm doing and what I'm working on. Kind of thought my backpack felt a little bit lightweight. <laughs> This vlog is gonna be a real work day in my life because this is real life right here. I seriously drove all the way here, got my coffee, came up here, got a conference room that was actually available when a lot of times they're not available unless you book it in advance. And I don't even have my laptop, which is like the main thing I need to work. I mean, I can do like some planning and that's about it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so mad at myself right now. Do I go home now and go get my stuff or do I just not do that and just do this and then go home and work? Oh my god, I'm so mad. First I forget my Apple Watch when I go to the gym this morning. Then I come here 
and I completely freaking forget my laptop and my iPad. I don't even have my iPad, so if I had my iPad, I could at least use that. But like, I was supposed to work on budget sheet, my inventory planning sheet for sun style for the new arrivals. I had photos I needed to edit. I need to create listings for the stuff that's going live. And then I was gonna do like, you know, my typical email marketing, Pinterest marketing. I did a soft rebrand for sun style. If you're not following on Instagram, then you don't know that, but go check out the website. Got my laptop. Now we're heading back. Just got back to the co-working space, but I wanted to show you guys, if you didn't know and you have Sirius XM, which I do, I listen to it all the time, it's worth the money to me because I don't always want to hook my phone up to Apple CarPlay and think of music to listen to. And TikTok just came out with a new station on Sirius XM. It's just TikTok radio and they play all of the trending like TikTok sounds. I'm just obsessed with it. So it's like all I've been listening to now. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm gonna work on learning Notion. This is like such a huge task for me. I'm really struggling to learn this program, but I really want to because I think it's gonna help me so much. I feel like I have been doing this for literally hours, but I wanna show you guys what I got so far. Notion is very, very complicated and I'm still learning it, so don't judge me, this isn't great. I did base it off of a template from someone whose video I watched online. She has a YouTube channel, her name is Twirling Pages, and she's also on TikTok. I've seen a bunch of her stuff, but when I first searched like Notion tutorials, hers is what came up, so that's kind of like what I followed, but I've been altering this to meet my own life. There was a lot of student stuff in here, which obviously I'm not a student anymore. So I'm kind of changing that over to small business life. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. So I put in like daily plan, obviously this can be edited, but this is kind of like my general plan throughout the week. Um, this current goal spot is how it looked whenever she was doing it. I haven't actually modified this yet. Same with everything under here. All I did was modify the category so far. So like quick links, I definitely want to do, you know, like a budget page in here. I definitely want to do a budget page in here, a reading list, like a watch log, you know, all of that stuff. And then over here in the daily section, I want to have links to the things that I'm going to be using on a regular basis. So in here, she's got templates for habit tracker, morning routine, night routine, meal planner. The things that I want to use this for is like my business related stuff, any event planning things and stuff like that. And then over here in YouTube, again, this is like academic assignments this is like stuff that she had already had in here i'm going to go in and adjust all of these and create pages with the direct links for what i want to do so like one might be youtube video ideas another one could be a log for keeping track of my sponsored content and stuff like that and then i also embedded one of my favorite playlists over here this is the focus flow on spotify i put this in here because you can literally just like play it while you are working and it's one of my favorite ones to just get stuff done. I also changed out these photos into these ones that I found on Pinterest that I thought were really, really pretty. They're just like cute little aesthetic photos. And I did actually go in and adjust my like weekly for this week. So there's some things I wanted to work on. There's a to-do list here. And then this is what I'm most excited for. I really think I'm going to use this a lot. You guys know I like thrive on my to-do lists. So this is going to help me a lot. Just kind of keeping track of what I need to do each day. Still going to use my planner and of course Google calendar, but I feel like every time I open up my computer, my iPad and my phone, I'll be able to have access to this. So it's perfect. And then down down here I have this little spot for YouTube. I'm still kind of figuring out how to organize everything. I will probably start a new page with this information and then have it linked like up here since this is just the dashboard, but I'm still learning Notion. There is so much to learn, but so far I'm doing a really good job and I like how everything looks. I'm back home now and I just ate some leftovers from last night. We had the orange chicken from Trader Joe's with rice, but I'm still hungry. So now I'm eating one of these and these are my favorite. I used to eat these all the time, the one with the like fruit and almonds, 
but now they have this one that's just cheese and crackers, which is amazing. It's like a little lunchable basically with Triscuits. I'm gonna have this and I'm still working on my computer. Oh, hi, it's me again, just eating more. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like super hungry today. So uh, I'm eating a pear now. What will I eat next? Stay tuned to find out. Good morning guys, I just got to the laser lounge spot. I'm about to go get my next tattoo removal thing. I'll put a picture of what my tattoo looks like right now. Um, but I have the numbing cream on there and it's wrapped in saran wrap so I can't really show you. Off to another great laser treatment. It's taking so long to remove my tattoo but I've gotten so many questions about how it's going and each time I go it's getting lighter. It's just a very slow but gradual process. I know some people have you know a quicker experience getting theirs removed and other people are like me and it ends up taking a while but the nurse and the esthetician who have been working with me for the last like five months on this tattoo removal process have told me that they both believe that my tattoos will be gone eventually. Like it's not like it's not possible, it's just taking longer than expected. So anyway, yeah, so I'm here now. I ended up getting here a little bit earlier than I needed to, so I'm just kind of hanging out right now in my car before I go in. I feel super pale because I am super pale. I didn't go spray tan last night, which means I can't this week, so I better just get used to my pale skin. I now am about to have this done. I can't spray tan when I get this done, at least until it heals, so it's fine. I'm just gonna be pale. I had to switch to my other foundation. Um, because, you know, my tanning one is way darker, so hopefully this matches. Trying to figure out what the obsession is on TikTok with this filter because how can I show you what I look like? <laughs> I look so ugly and I have bags under my eyes, but this filter makes some people look so pretty. Getting numb. Look away, obviously, if you don't like needles. April setting up the laser machine. We're about to go. I'm all numb. Let's do this. All finished and bandaged up. My arm is on fire. But it usually doesn't last very long at all. So I'm just trying to like toughen it out. But it'll go away. And I can't use like the burn free gel that she gave me the last time because I had an allergic reaction. It caused my whole arm to swell up. Not last time. This was like when I first started months ago. I just got my pumpkin spice iced coffee and I just asked for cream on the side because you guys know I'm OCD about how much cream they put in. I don't like too much, but I also don't like not enough. I was gonna go back home, but I know I'll get more done if I'm here. And this happens to be right by the laser lounge spot and I also have a hair appointment at two and it's 11 o'clock now. So I'm like, well, I'll go work in here for a few hours. Then I'll go to my hair appointment. Depending on how much I get done, I may get my nails done as well because I bit them all off. You guys are probably like, didn't you just get your nails done like a week ago? Yes, I did, okay? And I said I was taking a break from acrylics and you saw how long that lasted. I'm not proud of it, but like look at these little nubs and they hurt because I bite them down so freaking far. It's honestly disgusting. It's such a disgusting habit. Please tell me I'm not the only one that like at my age, still bites their freaking nails like, it's so embarrassing and i like start like chewing and picking and like whenever i have acrylics on i don't touch them i don't know why I just like if i go to do it because it's a habit i know i have the acrylics and then i'm like oh i can't bite the acrylic like it's raw card i'll break my freaking tooth or something guess who i'm on the phone with Alyssa. Hey. oh my god i miss her so much she just wants to facetime before i went in here and so we're just basically talking about how much we miss each other. I'm hoping she comes back here soon. She's living the Orlando life.
anybody else hate elevators? I always get so sketched that it's gonna trap me in here. Would have loved to have stayed for longer, but still got a bunch done, obviously. And I am heading to the hair salon early. It's gonna be a really quick appointment. I'm not doing anything, just having my extensions moved up. Heading into the hair salon now. I'll talk to you guys whenever I get done. Back home now, got my extensions moved up, which feels amazing. They were so grown out. I stopped and got Chick-fil-A for lunch, and initially I was trying to get a salad. Please tell me someone who watches my videos works at Chick-fil-A and can explain this to me. Because every time I go to order my salad, I run into this problem, and this time it was the worst though, because I ended up not even being able to order it. But I end up confusing them, because I try to order the Cobb salad with the chicken filet instead of like the grilled chicken nuggets. And every time they get so confused, because it's supposed to be the market, I guess, that you can get the filet with, but you can also customize other salads, obviously. So I just prefer, instead of the nuggets, the filet. And I've ordered it a million times, like I've even vlogged, you know, like having that salad. But they literally looked at me like, are you sure it wasn't the market salad, the one with the blue cheese and the fruit? And I'm like, yeah, no, it's definitely the cop salad, like with the egg and the cheese. And it's always the salad I get from Chick-fil-A. But every time I confuse someone and they have a hard time putting it in, but they're always able to figure it out. This time at this particular Chick-fil-A, they could not figure it out to save their life. They were so confused and I felt bad because I was like confusing everyone and I was like, I swear I've ordered the salad before. Like I get it all the time and they couldn't figure it out and it got to the point where like I felt like I was stressing them out. There was like three different employees. I had to go to the window in order for them to like figure it out because the lady on the iPad couldn't figure it out. And then at the window, the three of them are just like so confused and I felt like I was like holding them up. So ultimately I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll just get a wrap and so I just ordered a wrap. If you work at Chick-fil-A and you can explain to me why that's so confusing or, or how, like I don't know why it's so abnormal for me to just want the filet chicken on the Cobb salad instead of the market salad. Like they were like, oh, there's no way, we don't do that. Like if you want that, we're gonna have to give you a whole chicken and you're gonna have to cut it up yourself because we don't cut it up like that for that salad. I'm like, but I've ordered it before, like dozens of times. Maybe not at this location, but they do it for me all the time at the other one. I don't get it. I wasn't trying to be like picky or annoying or anything. I just can't believe it was that complicated. I got a package in from Kendra Scott. I'm lucky enough to get PR from them, which is honestly one of the most exciting brands to get PR from because I get jewelry. Reusable totes. I love that. We have these really cool earrings. Oh my gosh, these are super cool. They're hoops, but they have little diamonds on them. We have this pretty necklace. This is like one of their classic necklaces. I can't remember the name of it. Kendra Scott is actually one of the first nice jewelry brands that I ever bought way before I was ever getting anything for free. Oh, these are very pretty too. I love these, they're so elegant. So thank you Kendra Scott for the new jewelry. It's much later and I should have been making dinner at this point. I had a Publix meal for one thing. It was like chicken and sweet potatoes that I purposely bought for tonight. But you know, I ate Chick-fil-A around like 3.30. Then I just ate half a container of watermelon. Chad's gonna kill me, but I think I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal. I totally preheated the oven and I was on FaceTime and he's like, oh, are you eating your dinner tonight? And I was like, yeah, I just preheated the oven. And then I just shut it off because I changed my mind. I want cereal. This is real life, you guys. Like, Chad bought me the life-size box. <laughs> um, this is like two full bags. Well, I already ate one bag because I'm obsessed with cereal. Um, but he got this from Costco, really bad idea. Like he should have known that I was just gonna eat this all week. It's Call of Duty time. Ooh, it's bright on my face. And my sister's not texting me back. She was supposed to get on. So I just joined a random team, which I have not done this before. So this should be interesting. Here I go.